Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you how to set up a Fiverr seller account on your phone. So let's jump straight in. What you'll need to do here is skip the usage of the app to actually set up your seller account. What you want to do is jump into your browser of choice and dial in fiverr.com. You will find this page. Now, this is very important on the top right hand side, depending on what browser you're using, just look for these options and look for desktop site. Now, once you have located desktop site, you can tap that. What it will do is it will format this page presence in uh, the same format that your computer or your Mac will process this page. Now, this is essential to actually creating this seller's account so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here now and um, we're going to tap on continue with google so from this home page what you're going to do is go over to the right hand side now if you um, put both fingers on your screen and you pull them apart you'll be able to zoom and um, just the opposite to zoom out you will be able to pinch and actually go back out so what you want to do is you want to go over to the top right hand side of your screen we want to look for the first letter of your name you want to tap on that and here you want to look for profile and this is where you will be able to set up all of your profile details all right so starting from the top you want to make sure that you have a great display name as well as a profile picture now a professional profile picture can really make a great first impression on somebody looking at your profile this also helps when um, people are looking for somebody to do their job instead of you approaching people and having that proactive approach you can literally just set up your profile and let people come to you just purely because it looks good so right over here we want to create a profile picture as well as a display name and then you want to tap on preview fiverr profile just to make sure that you know that's what it looks like and then as we go down you can earn badges and stand out all right so this is where you can enter the learn from fiverr program and if you enroll now you'll basically just sign up and you'll be able to learn how to um, work on fiverr you will also earn badges in this process well uh, that which will allow you to stand out um, to people wanting to buy services over here you want to enter a description in terms of what kind of work you do so if you're a video editor you want to put all the details in there you want to make sure you are including things such as the programs that you use um, the years of experience that you've had this will give your profile credibility okay this will allow people to look at your profile and go "Ooh, this person knows a lot about x okay so the next thing you want to have a look at is your languages now you can enter just your first basic language but it is always preferred if you do know more than one language even if your skills aren't um, at an expertise level you can still enter in these languages just to broaden your horizons and make sure that you can get jobs potentially in other languages now your skills another very important element entering in skills over here will really allow you to um, let people know what you're really good at so what you want to do is uh, you want to enter in a video editor for example and as you can see over here it gives you some recommendations okay so i'm just going to choose video editor you can also choose your experience level between beginner intermediate and expert and you can tap on add now this is great because people now can get an idea of what you're actually skilled in okay and the reason that there are these suggestions um is if you type in for example adobe right you can actually choose the actual program that you have a skill in so adobe illustrator all right experience level intermediate add now people can see, all right, he uses Adobe Illustrator. That means that he's at a certain level of skill. The next thing you want to do is add in all of your educational background. This includes the, um, the country that your college or your university was in. 
the title that you majored in, and then the year of your graduation. Now, of course, if you have multiple, you can go ahead and enter this in multiple times. You can also add a certificate over here if you do have certificates. That is absolutely fantastic. Now, once you have created this account, all right, once you have perfected this, you want to go ahead now and on the right hand side it says ready to earn on your own terms. Now you can tap on become a seller. Now from here you get to learn what makes a successful profile, you get to create your seller's profile and then you get to publish a gig. Now what you need to know here is what makes a successful profile. Right? You're going to read through this, make sure that you understand it and you're going to tap on continue. Here you want to go ahead and make sure that you know what to stay clear of. You want to tap on continue. And here we are now creating that personalized Fiverr sellers account. So you want to put in your full name here, first name and last name. You also want to put in your display name again, profile picture and a description as to what kind of work you do and complete your languages. Again, I want to mention if you have multiple languages, you can enter in multiple languages here, as well as the level of that language you can speak. On this page, you want to go ahead and enter your occupation, right? So once you tap on this window, you will see over here that you have a bunch of options. So what you want to go ahead and do is select the occupation of your choice so just for example i'm going to use graphic and design and here you can choose two to five of your best skills within the category that you've chosen all right so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to make some selections over here you can add an additional occupation if you would like to and then you want to go ahead and look at the skills section now in the skills section you get to um enter additional skills over here so if you have a look at the first profile the, the beginning of the, the the video we entered in the video editor and the adobe illustrator and our level was both intermediate we can also add new over here all right we're going to go ahead education again we're going to um, add some education and then you can also add those certificates over here. If you have an, a certificate of award uh, and a, a certificate from a particular um, software development company or um, an institution, you can go ahead and you can enter it in here. The next thing you want to do is if you do have a personal website, um, you can enter in the link over here. Now, there are lots of websites that you can create for free and build a portfolio. So you can send people to your actual existing portfolio before you actually begin creating your portfolio or your resume on Fiverr. We're going to go ahead and tap on continue. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. Over here you will have to enter some account security information. This includes your email address as well as your phone number and it does state that this is both private. So this is for your account. This is not for your public profile. All right. And um, as you can see over here, my email address is already verified because I created this account with my email address. You can now just go ahead and add your phone number and we can tap on finish. We can now go ahead, as you can see, and create our first gig. This is the, the exciting part. And I'm going to take you through just a quick run through of creating your first gig. Now, what you want to do here is create a gig title, put it in a category and search tags to that as well. So if somebody's searching for something, your gig will come up because it's within the category as well as the tags associated. Now, as you go down, um, you will then go through the pricing of your gig. You will also create a description and frequently asked questions for your gig to make it easier for people to understand and communicate with you. Then the requirements of your gig, what you require from the client, and then you will be able to upload a gallery. This means you can upload images, documents, uh, you can upload videos of all your previous work so people can see what they're actually buying. And then you'll go through the process then to publish your Fiverr gig, you will review it and publish it, it'll become public. Now there's two ways you can actually receive jobs or receive responses. First of all is passive. Now you can go ahead and leave this and wait for people to come to you. But if this is a one-time or a first-time account, you 
are unlikely going to get lots of jobs immediately. So what you need to do is take a proactive approach. You can go ahead and start advertising on different platforms such as Facebook. Uh, you can even go ahead and do some cold calling, some random emailing, and just talking to people in and around your area to make sure that they can jump onto Fiverr and actually support what you are doing. If this guide was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time.